Okay, I'm gonna go through something that um, I seem to see, find a lot of students struggle with. And it's this whole idea of motor efficiencies. And I've got students that are writing a test this weekend. And this is basically, this is for you boys out in uh, the Surrey Foundation class. For the rest of you, make sure you're watching this too because this is one of those things that kind of trips people up. And I know it's, I've got two videos coming out like one bang right after the other, but I just really wanted to make sure that there's something out there so my students can go through and, and check it out. Now what I mean by this when I talk about motor efficiencies is we have motors that come with a certain horsepower rating and then they have a certain efficiency and then how we go about calculating all the electrical stuff we need out of that. So I'm gonna pop into my, I'm using a new app here called Explain Everything. Um, you've seen me use this a ton of times before. It's just I'm trying this new hybrid model where I've got me on the screen as well as this pops in every once in a while. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. So I've got this motor and it's, let's, I mean, it looks like an old cheap gross motor, but let's just say, let me move it out of the way and give it some uh, context here that I've got, let's see here. Let's say it's 10 horsepower and let's say it's got an efficiency of 75%. Then let's say that it's hooked up to 240 volts and I wanna know exactly how many amps it's gonna draw based off the information that I have here. So there's a couple things that we really need to take into account, okay? So pay very close attention, come, come closer here. Number one, that horsepower, that is our output power, okay? That's our output, so that's, that is something that as electricians we're not so concerned with. We need to use it to do a calculation, but what we do is we have to convert it to watts first and then we use the efficiency formula to change it into input power. So let's just jump onto the whiteboard here and see what I mean. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go 10 times 746. That's easy, 7,460 watts. That's my output power. That is what is coming off of the shaft of the motor. So over here, what we're concerned with as electricians is how much power electrically does it take in here? This cable, how much how much electrical power is it supplying? Not necessarily what it's supplying on the outside or the shaft side. So what we need to do is we have to look at the actual power or the efficiency formula. And the efficiency formula is N is equal to output over input. That's our efficiency formula. It plays out for everything. Efficiency, that little funky N, is always output over input. Again, the output is something that is the mechanical power that's being put out. Maybe a millwright would be concerned with that. As electricians, what we're concerned with is what size cable do we need to connect to this motor in order for us to power it properly. We know that there's no such thing as a 100% efficient machine. There's going to be some loss on the motor bearings and the power, the heat being dissipated. So whatever, you're, you're never going to have the exact power. That horsepower is not going to be what the actual electrical power is. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into this formula, plug in what we know, and calculate out what we need. So we do that. Let me just change the color of my pen here by saying, and let's change all this actually. Let me just move this out of the, oops, moving that over to there. Let me just, uh, oh, everything's kind of locked in there. There we go. Making that a little smaller. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to say, okay, we know that efficiency here is output over input. So we're going to plug the efficiency in. So let's go with black. We know that efficiency is 75%. We know that our output, we calculated that out to be 7,460 watts. We don't know what our input is. So what we'll do from there is we're gonna cross multiply. 0.75x is equal to 7,460x is equal to, and if I calculate this out on my calculator, 7,460 divided by 0 0.75 gets me 9,946, 9,946, 0.7 watts. That is my input power. That's what this is here. My input power. That's what we are concerned with. So what we've got now is we've got the electrical power. This is what we are concerned with. 9,946.7 watts. What we can do now is take this power with this voltage to figure out the current. Because we know in Watt's law, P P, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to move the screen around like that. P is equal to E times I. We have the P, let me just move this over here, is 9,946.7 watts. 
we have the voltage in this case which is 240 volts so there's our P there's our V so let's plug in what we know 9946.7 is equal to E or the same as V same thing 240 times I I equals punch this into the calculator divide that by 240 I equals 41.4 amps all right and just to refresh again what you do is you take your horsepower you multiply that by 746 that gives you your output power you take your output power you divide that by your motor efficiency that gives you your input power as electricians that is the thing that we are concerned with we can take that input power and if we have voltage we can figure out current if we have current we can figure out voltage using watts law it's that easy it doesn't need to overcomplicate things but i find people get tripped up just remember that your horsepower is your output and then you use that efficiency formula to figure out what your input power is and from there you've got it golden